Hi guys, welcome back to another rack review. If you're new here, welcome. Today we're gonna unbox Louis Vuitton. This has been sitting just there on my shelf. Um, this is the one I got for my birthday. The link and picture here. I have unboxed it, I just never used it. So let's get started. This is the box it came with. The bag was just too big, so let's just get started. So I did exchanges from the Odeon PM. Slightly regret it now due to the price increase, but I still think I would have used this Odeon MM more, which I'm still hunting for. I did see the Odeon um, in the Ebeen pop up, but I'm really in love with the monogram one, so I'm sticking to that, even though the other one comes up off and on for the Odeon Ebeen in MM size. So let's get started. So here she is. Oh yeah, I think we ribboned up and uh, yeah, I didn't put it here. She is. Um, what is this? Oh, it's a sticker. I thought it was a tag. Came with a dust bag. And ta-da! It's the Speedy 20 Emprunt Leather. Okay, so when I went to the Louis Vuitton boutique, I wanted to exchange the bag, the Odeon PM in monogram, and exchange it to Odeon MM in monogram. Of course, I had a feeling um, it's not going to be there, <laughs> but I had some other ones in my wish list that I was thinking that I can replace it with, and I already had one in mind, like maybe two, but they didn't have it, of course, so I looked around. I even asked for the even one they didn't have it in the store at that time again i got this from january and i just unbox it now as before the price increased this one didn't increase as much but it still did i'll put the picture here if i can find a before and after picture so back to my story i'll start about the monogram emprunt in the neverfull which i think i have a video or footage of me trying it on and also in the pochette matisse i don't have one because i am holding off for the actual monogram even though it has all those issues i know but it keeps increasing since i wanted it which was a year december of 2020 maybe or no 20 last year yeah for my birthday so i wanted that but i they did have it in black and both which is weird because it was in my wish list this was not this was in my wish list in monogram print which had that colorful um strap of course that's never available you probably have to call somebody but right now since i have this this because i don't have a leather piece it's all monogram and i just love it i think it's a versatile piece it's black um, you can throw a colors with whatever strap you have and you can dress her up if you want to but i just want to enjoy how she is i'll throw like a little piece here and there but it is like a pebbled leather so it's not as you know it won't scratch as much so it's not as scary to like wear and won't scratch easily which i love so this is how it looks on the side it has that print nothing here and the back has no feet which is fine because it's black um, it's pretty small, so uh, the most likely I'll probably put this next to me on another chair or on the table if there's room. It's pretty small, so uh, I'll do some measurements or put the description down below. So back to my story. So I got to try the Neverfull MM. I never realized how large my Neverfull currently I have is the monogram. I never knew what size that was. I thought it was an MM. I guess it's a GM because when I tried on the MM for this, I thought it was small for me. I guess I got used to the Neverfull GM and I just thought it was small. It, I guess it, it didn't sink in at that moment when I'm processing and what to purchase or exchange with. But thinking of it now, I think I would have bought it. I should have got that one and at the same time i do like the i don't know why in person i didn't like the pochette matisse i think it's because of the gray inside interior i'll try to put the picture here i guess i could have bought like some sort of insert to throw some color i just i wish it was like red it was just yeah plain 
this one's plain too but I, I like the size it looks like a fun size um that one was giving me corporate but it's pretty i think i would buy that someday if the price doesn't increase again i don't know but i do prefer the pochette matisse in monogram okay so we've been talking about other bags besides this one so let's get back to this bag but those are two still on my list list so these are the handles and so cute with those little um rivets Louis Vuitton on both sides there's none on those handles I believe it's the same here it's two-piece leather so it's cut it was cut off here there was another piece here to make both LV. Unlike the LV with the monogram, it's just one piece of canvas they rolled around. So the other one, the other side is backward, which I like. And little tab. And here's how the zipper looks. It looks the same with the Bondi LV here. I put the link here for those two comparison with my Speedy 30 and my Speedy 25 Bondi LV here. If you haven't seen it, it'll put the video here. So let's see what's inside. They don't put stuffing, wrappings in like that with Coach. So maybe that's why I don't get as much excitement as those bags. But this one, for some reason, it does. I think it's because it's my first leather. Oh, oh there's my receipt and stuff. Put that here. I'll tell you the price I paid for it. Actually, let's do it now. That was the receipt. So I paid a total of 2440 and I think it's 2570 now. So not a little less than 200 increase for this from the January purchase. And yeah, so it was 1920 for the Odeon PM. And now I think it's like over almost over 2000 or it is. Oh, I'll put the price here if you guys are interested. Comes with this little lock. Um, I don't really use the lock, otherwise I would probably just display it on the side or something. That's how the lock comes. It has this little pouch. And here's the key. Super cute. It is a 677. And here's the little clock. Ooh. Oh, so shiny. It has Louis Vuitton and Harry. LV. Let me see if it unlocks. Oh, here's this. Oh, to match the key with your lock. Never noticed that. Ta-da! Here's some ASMR for you. Ta-da! <laughs> so... Let's get back to the bag and it comes with this strap it's a little different from what i usually have this one came with chain and strap so again i did try this on i quickly come to realize that i do prefer either all chain or all leather or even if it's like all chain and you have like a little piece just for your shoulder that would be nice too so i'm not in love with the chain but you know it came with a purse so i appreciate it i have a lot of other strap i can put it in with and i'll show you that later on so here's how it looks inside there's a, like a pocket here and that's it it's a black hole so you can't see i thought about getting some sort of insert to throw some color still trying to figure that out made in usa imported materials come Components, product care guidelines are available. Made of Vachetta leather synthetic tile. Here's the information. This was the price. Now it's higher. Here you go. Super cute. I would not know where the magnet is. I guess I should have asked the CA in here. It says Louis Vuitton Paris. But this little card here says it was made in USA. Super cute. And you have those LV on both side. So the strap is detachable. You can just attach it here. Turn it 
just like that. And that's how it looks. So let's see what we can fit in the back. Okay, so we're gonna start. Well, this is my battery pack, but it is almost the size of my phone. It's my new one. That's the brand if you're interested. I do like this more than the white one. The white one for some reason. It doesn't like charge. You gotta do like some kind of wiggle and it does charge back. But I still use both. I think I bought two of these because I liked it so much. So yeah, that's the brand if you guys are interested. I got this from Amazon. Same size as my phone, so I'm gonna use that. And, I'm, and you could probably put both. You can't see, of course, so yeah. Definitely should get an insert. And then this is the pouch that came with this battery pack. I used it as my sunglasses. Okay. This was just from Coach two years ago. They're usually in my car, but since I switch off between my husband and my car, I started carrying them. So it just depends. Sometimes I might forget them in my car. Anyway, that fits also. So again, it's black hole. Can't see much, but that's how it looks. I still got my medium. I don't know why I keep buying other wallets because this is the only wallet I've been using. I think it's hard to move out. Um, and yeah. And plus it goes kind of like, you know, throw some color a little bit. And I think it goes well. So it, it kind of like contrasts, which I love. So yeah, it's the medium zip wallet from Louis Vuitton. And this is part of the Kiri Magami. I just got three masks in there. One, two kids, and mine. I love this thing. I don't know why I never thought about that. <laughs> Putting my mask in here. But it does fit credit cards as well. I think max is like 10. Link the video here if you have not watched my Kiri Magami video unboxing. So let's... And I think I also made it into like... Um, a purse the big the larger size so if you're interested i'll put the video here and then <clears throat> to clash everything else with your monograph <laughs> throw some tiger print in there i have not moved out to this thing yet um yeah so i put like four cards and there's like a lot of cards in here i don't even know which one hold on oh okay they're just like gift card gift cards and like preferred card this is my preferred card and i think this is like the oh that's my um mra card so this is just preferred cards as you can see a little zip with the i don't know what i have in here oh and then i have some coins and the receipt that i paid for this um wallet super cute so you could even throw all your tiger print like your wallet and whatever else you bought your card holder and and mix it because it's a really tiny uh, coach emblem anyway i love how it goes together again that's this is why i like this it, it can go with anything so i threw that in there and of course my <laughs> fancy emergency kit which i should change i should just put it in here this is my clay but i do have my earbuds in here i think and i do put my earbuds here and this is my emergency kit it's pretty flat so i got this for free and i just keep refilling it i just love how flat it is and that's why it's going in here i know it's like not the super prettiest but you know it does its job maybe i'll use one of my pouch i just love how this is so flat i don't know i need to find something cute cuter but i haven't found one so yeah that's how it looks so far just stacking them up like this i do have this tissue we we'll just oh i actually have this pouch on the side i can put it in where is that at? yeah then it caught up in the zipper so have its own little pocket or maybe i'll put my sanitizer there i'll put this here my lotion just make sure it's close my sanitizer these are just from bath and body works and my favorite scent from the body shop still have some and then if you can't decide if you want a lipstick lip gloss or <laughs> just some mint this is my favorite by the way from 
Well, it says Co Big Glow, but I got it from the um, Bath and Body Works. It's my favorite. Oh, it's still at seven fifty. I think I got this for free. You get those coupon for my birthday. I don't remember. That's how it looks so far. It's full. Now let's flip it up. Yay! It fits. And that's how it looks stuffed. Super cute. I also wanted to put this heart. I mean, it's from Amazon, but it broke. So yeah, it breaks easily. Um, I got jam in the cart when I was at Target. And I just snapped out. I mean, you can easily put it back. But yeah, you gotta be careful with all those things that's hanging. Um, so yeah, I have to find a time to fix it and put it back. It would have been cute here. Dangling. Right. Okay, so then we can put this little lock. I probably would not lock it. I rarely do. I mean, <laughs> how can you imagine? Go check out your checking out, and you're like, well, hold up, let me unlock my Louis Vuitton here. So yeah, it does fit here, and you can lock it. And then I might just carry it here. Just don't lose this key. And that's how it looks. Just put it there. You could even put it here. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. Just there. I had this LV part instead of the other one. Super cute. So the size, again, it's online. I'll put the information down below, but you know, to see if it's true, let's measure ourselves. So it's like eight, a little past eight, so 8.5 on the length. Again, I'll put the ones that they use online down in the description below on the measurements. So this on the bottom area is about past four, about. Yeah. So it's almost five, a little less than five inches. So if you measure from the side, the height would be a little over five, like almost five and point five point five, almost. So five point maybe four. So yeah, super cute. So let's change up the strap. So the strap I would actually use for this is the one from this coach. I just love the strap on this. And when I saw it, I was like, yes, I'm going to use that for that. It doesn't have any vachetta, which is amazing. That's fine because that's even perfect. And then it just has this claw instead of the usual Louis Vuitton strap. But I don't care because I love this strap from that bag. It doesn't have that little key holder, but you can put the little key holder. Here. Oh, actually, it's right here. It does have it, which what I love this about this strap. So this is the strap because I'm gonna <laughs> I'm planning on taking this to Disney. Yeah, I'm going to Disney World soon, and this is what I would like to use. In the park, I know, yeah. I'm like, really, you gonna use that one? <laughs> so, um, no, I'm planning to take this, but I might bring another bag to bring. We'll see, I don't know. I mean, why not, right? It's leather, you can clean it, and this is what makes it more, um, not too fancy is because it's straps, so that's why I like this bag too. And this, because you can change it to make it look fancy with the chain or the even just the plain leather or make it casual with something like this from coach strap it can be like anything from amazon too if you can find this i think i have videos that i bought some that looks like the multi push strap have that i just it's just the length is not as long as it like to be it fits well with like thinner bag this is not a slimmer bag like nolita's 
something flat because since this is a little wider I just feel like it's too close to my chest and it's bulky but if it was flat it would be I, I didn't mind it because I have worn it before so this one's longer and it's free it came with the came with my other bag so why not right so this is how it's gonna look I love it well if you follow me on Instagram it's just rock review I'll post a picture there how it looks with this on when I'm there and if I don't change my mind but so far this is what I'm planning to wear to Disney World all right the next one you can use is your plain vachetta this one I bought for my god I don't know the name of the bag but I'll put the picture here if I, I find it I should make a video of it but yeah I haven't got around to it one of these days mine already patina and it has a little stain there I haven't cleaned it and I like how it has patinaed and I, this is four years old by the way this strap and now I don't see it being available I wanted another one because it is very soft now I don't know if it's just me but when it's so soft you feel like it might like you know it's almost hitting its perk of maybe giving in one day but it's still good i just wanted to have another one but i haven't got a chance i haven't seen it it's always sold out online you might have to ask your ca but since i still have one and it's functional i skipped it and i bought something else and which is the one that i'm gonna put on next which is this one i I'll put the video here for the unboxing of this. I think when I unboxed a bond, uh, Speedy Bondelier last year, I got this. I don't remember, but I'll let, link the video here. Which video? So this is the Monogram LV. I love this because you can wear this. You can take this off, by the way. This is just for your shoulder. And you can wear it as a belt and then make it into like a pouch. One of your... um. Felici or anything basically if you just want to wear this as a belt so it's it serves two purpose as a belt or as a strap which is what it's for I'm not sure if it's gonna fit everybody and also depends on what size or how big like if you use a Nolita 15 this would be great depending on your waist if you're slimmer you might want to get this um, a cobbler to add more has a lot of adjustments one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven adjustments still a great strap to use as a belt or as a bag strap to contrast to the black i haven't tried this on and i'm looking at it now i think i like this more than the black we'll see yeah you can see which one i like the best i think i like this yeah i might use this instead actually yeah i yeah, I might use this instead. I like how this looks and contrasts. Yeah, so it just depends on which one you like, and that's how it looks. This is why I like the black Louie. I'm in love with this. What the price increase I have slowed down with the Louis buying. I am satisfied so far what I bought from 2021. Maybe someday I'll make a video of what I have from my Louis line, Louis Vuitton line, we'll see. So that is it guys, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe and also don't forget to check out my other videos and playlists. Thanks for watching, have a great day, bye!